Hi. Now in this question, we're asked to explain then why the population of primroses can never be 270. And to do this, we just take our equation here and we would expect to increase the time, let t tend to infinity, and just check out what this is going to tend towards. So if we just copy this equation down, first of all, we're given that p then equals 800 e to the power 0.1 t, all divided by 1 plus 3 e to the power 0.1 t. Now, if I was to let t tend to infinity, very large number, then e to the power 0.1 t would be a very big number. And so would this term here. The denominator would be a very big number. So what we end up with is a very big number divided by a very big number. Infinite number over an infinite number. We, it's undefined. We can't really see what that answer is going to be. So what we need to do is change the look of this. If we were to divide both top and bottom by e to the power 0.1t, what we create is an easier equation to work with. We get 800 on the top, and this will be divided by 1 divided by e to the power 0.1t. And then for this term, we'll just be left with 3. Now why is this easier? Well, as t turn tends to infinity, it gets larger then what happens to this term here is it tends to zero. The denominator here gets very large. 1 divided by a very large value means that this term tends to zero. So what we've got then is that p tends towards 800 on the top, and then we've got this divided by 0 plus 3. In other words, 800 divided by 3 which is 266.6 recurring. Well, obviously you can't have a decimal here for a population of primroses. It's got to be an integer. So what I'm going to say is therefore 266 would be the maximum that P could be, the maximum population. So there's no way that we can ever reach 270. So I'm just going to say here, therefore, P cannot reach 270. And there you have it. Okay.